118 down, two to go. Hey, what's up, my dude? Goose Jason, and welcome you back to more Super Mario Galaxy as a part of Super Mario 3D All Stars. Last time, we finished Melty Molten Galaxy, completing the main galaxies as well as all Prankster Comets and all Purple Coin Comets. This time, we only have one galaxy left here in the garden, and that's Matter Splatter Galaxy. Watch your step. Yes. Alrighty, so the way Matter Splatter Galaxy works is basically you remember Matter Splatter Mansion from Ghostly Galaxy? Well, they basically took that gimmick and based it around an entire level. We have a bunch of disappearing areas, and we have to kind of follow the path and make sure we get through them before they fully disappear. So that way we can, you know, kind of move on. Like, for instance, up here, we're going to want to quickly do some wall jumping there. And follow this path up, dodge this magic Koopa, and get over to the pipe. And here's where things get interesting, because we have spring, a spring power-up. Yeah, we have to use Spring Mario to climb up this entire wall. Isn't that just joyous? I don't know, it's a cool concept, but I just think with how slippery Spring Mario's controls are, uh, yeah, I don't know, it just felt like a really weird decision in some cases. But in any case, we're working with it. I just like kind of holding down, uh, like holding down the, uh, button while I'm jumping around. Also, I see you one up. I'm not going to get you because that's a death wish. And I don't want to risk a death wish. No, thank you. I'm a good. Alright, come up here. And looks like there's another, uh, coin. Uh, there's another, uh, question mark coin up here. Which has, um... Oh. Uh, it has star bits. I'm going to come up to the side here. That's definitely tight. Or that definitely was tight. Uh, get up there. And then... Come up here. Then we'll bounce over to the sling star. And make our way to the pipe. And now, if we just look ahead... It's just a straight shot to the star. We just have to follow the path and don't, you know, get, uh, don't get too ahead of ourselves and don't, uh, you know, don't die. Okay, keep going this way. There's a few different paths that we're able to take, so it's like you're not limited in some ways on where you need to go. First here, we're gonna have two Magic Koopas. I'm gonna go ahead and defeat them, because they're a pain in my backside. And then... Follow this path up this way. Wait for that to open. Long jump. And then, really, we can just long jump to the star. It's like, all you gotta do is that. Booyah. Alrighty, this just leaves the Hungry Luma. So let's go ahead and come out here and talk to him. And he wants 
1600. Excuse yourself. I just like realized I threw it down. It's like I was wondering why it didn't, you know, go into his mouth. All right, it looks like he transforms. Into Snowcap Galaxy. Our final star, Star Bunnies in the Snow. So what we need to do here is grab that uh, green shell and we can take this sling star all the way over. Let's play chase. You catch all of us before the time runs out. Boing. Yep. We have a chase mission. We have to find all of these, uh, to find all of these um, bunnies, which are all hiding in different uh, places. Like one is hiding there. Um... And then a few others are hiding in other places as well. I'm actually going to see if I can get this bunny to, uh... If I can guide this bunny into this hole. Come on, come on, get in the hole. Bunny, get into hole. Eh, doesn't matter, we caught him anyway. Anyway. Or, I said anyway twice. <laughs> oh, I do that sometimes. But, what we need to do now is we need to hit these snowmen. One, we'll get a, uh, we'll get a green shell we can use to open that chest, which will be where that, our next bunny is. But then, another bunny is hiding under the snowman. Very interesting. Of course, I say this as I'm trying to get him, and he won't let me get him. Alright, caught him, and now the last one's just hanging around in this hole. We can just intercept him. And boom. Can't believe he caught me. I give up. Here, take the star, boy. Oh, yeah. Now I have enough star power to go to another world. Before that, you must help your special one. Are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe? Yes. Alright then, off we go. Alright, we have Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the fate of the universe. I also realized I did not, you know, read out that thing that Rosalina said. She basically was just like, there's a force field in the castle. Go, Mario! 
Yeah, sorry about that. I was completely distracted by uh, completely distracted by something else. I do deeply apologize. That is probably gonna be like the one piece of text I skipped over. But yeah, we are here in the final area, Bowser's big stronghold. Which is funny because you know he makes he makes such a a big claim about you know a, a galaxy, but it's like I I don't know. This feels underwhelming to me. Like, it feels like it's not Bowser. I mean, it technically is, but I don't know. It's just like, I felt like I wanted more some of something than, like, this. It might just be me spoiled by, like, final areas we've gotten from Bowser in, like, later Mario games after this. But I don't know. It just felt off to me. Uh-oh. Alright, so, just making our way through all of these different elements that we've dealt with throughout our journey. You're at 60 lives now, which, yeah, can you tell I've been recording in rapid succession? I'm using, basically, to tell the story, I have the house to myself for uh, most of the day, and so, like, I've been utilizing the time that I haven't been able to record. Uh, you know, I haven't been able to record in pro a good while and so it's like I'm utilizing the time I have to record to try to get stuff like recorded because then I can know if I you know have enough videos to do certain things anyway go ahead and head through this gravity section following these uh, platforms that escape or that disappear not escape and now we're in a final frontier look at this the onslaught of bullet bills, thwomps, and many different things, and I say that as I die. Alrighty, let's try this onslaught again, and this time not screw it up. So, yeah, we have basically a bunch of uh, bullet bill blasters, and thwomps. And of course I... Really? Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, had a phone call I had to take. I will not keep the phone call in the recording, though, because I will not let you guys listen to my phone call. That's my business. But yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so this place is just full of bullet bills and, uh, bonsai bills and thwomps. Of course, this second area is gonna be really full of, uh, really full of, um, you know, bullet bills and bonsai bills more than anything else. But I'm gonna show you guys a trick. If you do a backflip right here onto this platform, and then make your way over to this one, and if I can, you know, do it, you can skip that entire area and come over. Easy peasy. But uh, yeah. So, let's go ahead and come up to the launch star, and it's finally time for our confrontation. With Bowser. Looking for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me! Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe! Watch and weep! From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic, galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever! I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So, Mario, as you can see, I got big plans, and stomping you is at the top of my list! 
It's time for our final fight with Bowser. Starting off on this planet, he's going to do some vibration, or I guess shock waves at us. Now he's going to turn into a giant boulder, which, you know, if you remember the enemies, or the obstacles that we have fought before, you would know that the way to defeat him is smacking him straight in the face, because that is his vulnerable point. So, we'll go ahead and wait till he... What? Okay... I don't know why that didn't work, but whatever. We'll just wait till he's vulnerable. And boom, there we go. Also, something interesting about uh, the final boss is that each of these planets that we're going to, to fight Bowser, they only take two hits to defeat him. They don't, or I guess it only takes two hits to defeat him. See, we already got him on his fast spin. So yeah, each planet is basically two times, adding up to a total of six times that we have to hit him. Also, he will, uh, he will also, you know, shoot fire on this planet. But, not only that, I'm gonna go ahead and actually let him shoot fire at me, because I want to show it. He's going to turn into a, kind of, a ball ship with his, uh, with his shell. But, you just hit him with these plants, and he's still pretty easy to defeat. Now we're in the true arena, where everything has been leading up to. And now he's turning into his ball shape, and since we don't have anything to whack him with, we just kind of have to wait him out. But just like any other fight, we have to lead him into those uh, energy energy circles that will turn into fire, and then just smack him away as usual. However, there's a unique thing about the second half of this fight, and it is that you can completely skip over his uh, second ball phase as long as you time things right. So basically, you know, we get it, get his shock waves gone through, and then when he starts uh, going to his ball phase, get damaged by a fireball. Of course, I failed to do it, but yeah, if you get damaged by a fire, one of his fireballs, uh, he will. Uh, get out of his animation and lead straight into, uh, you know, going, trying to jump on. Him. Either way, though, still a pretty simple final boss, but that's just Mario games in general.
No, my galaxy, my empire. This can't be happening. Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually, that stardust reforms to create a new star, and so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. So you'll see. All new life carries the essence of stars, even all of you. Ah. Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! And that is Super Mario Galaxy. I'm not gonna give too much, you know, my thoughts on the game, because I think it's better to treat 3D All-Stars as a whole, you know, kind of go over how I feel about each game at the end of the entire project. But don't get me wrong, I love this game. I think it's great. I hate it speedrunning. I can say that now. I do not care for it as a speed game. Speedrunning it sucks, it is boring, but the game itself is fantastic. That's all I'm gonna say for now. We still have plenty to do. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy.
for handing the controller over to the man in green. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, troops out a ton. Make sure you subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you've not already. And I will see you guys all later. Thank you so much for playing my game!
Super Luigi Galaxy.